Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. As you can see, I've got my T-turns here. I am running today, folks, the T-turn bait rig, the pre-tied one, number 1A, which happens to be perch, crappie, and panfish rig. So I'm gonna, and today all I'm doing, folks, I'm not using any live bait at all. I've got the Thundermus eye drops on. So I put a silver eye drop on each hook and that's gonna be my bait, just the eye drop, folks. Um, we use these eye drops in salt water with great success. We've used them for panfish and perch with great success, uh, tipping uh, the sting nose jigging spoon. But today we're using them just bare, just on the bare hook, that's the bait. Fish like to attack the head. They'll see the eye, and attack the eye and uh, this T-turn bait rig will keep me tangle free and there's a there's a bite I just missed one actually I'm hoping to get into some perch today but I'll tell you this we caught salt water we were catching porgy and, and sea bass and uh, here in fresh water in fresh water the perch will attack it and guess what if there's a bass or a walleye around they're gonna nail it too so it's a simple bait, but it's a great bait. It's scented. There we go. It's scented. This time I didn't miss. <laughs> it's scented. It's got a nice big eye drop on it. I'm using the eye, uh, the large size. There's also an extra large size, but I'm going to stick with the large right now. And like I say, I brought a variety of different colors. I opened up with the silver going a little more natural, but I will try some different colors. Um, as the day goes on but right now the silver seems to be working so let's see what we got here folks i'll tell you what we got oh look at this one of the advantages of using the t-turn bait rig you can catch <laughs> you can catch two fish at a time oh my goodness these are white perch these are called white perch they look like actually this one might be a silver bass so close in color that looks like it's a silver bass with the stripes. And this looks like a white perch without the stripes. That's a nice chunky white perch right there. Okay, so I just wanna show you. So there's the silver eye drop, folks, right there. I just put it right on the hook. You poke it through the plastic part, leaving the eye exposed. And quite simply, like I say, these bait rigs, they come pre-rigged, pre-tied. All I did was just snap on a sinker, and you adjust the sinker weight. To, if you're fishing shallower, you go lighter. You're fishing deeper, uh, you go heavier. And, of course, if you've got some current, uh, you might want to go heavier as well. But, oh, look at that bite. Just attacking that eye drop, folks. Oh, I missed them. Just attacking that eye drop. And you could move it a little bit, right? I've got it, I've got it straight down. So you could just kind of move it ever so slowly and trigger a bite. Again, that's what we were doing in salt water, something small here. I, I, they just, they work great. They just work great. These fish seem to just go crazy for them. I guess they figure it's a nice little snack. I don't know, okay. And we got another white perch right there. Real small one. Okay, we'll just let him go. And the eye drops are good for fish after fish. Get rid of that little bit of weed. But yeah, that's how easy they are to, to, to fish, folks. You, you fish them like you would regular, normal bait. Drop it down, just move it a bit, uh, jiggle it a bit. Um, I mean, any any technique that you want. I'm just moving it ever so slowly, but they're just, they're just attacking these eye drops. And we are drifting here, we're in the river, so we're drifting. So the bait is already moving a little bit with the drift, and that's perfectly fine. And we'll drift over pods of fish, but uh, I'll tell you what, folks, it's a fun way to fish. And if you like to ice fish, oh my goodness, <laughs> get ready for a riot, because they're great ice fishing too. All right, so, well, it's not a bad little start, just getting started here. And like I say, we got a beautiful day upon us. Not getting any bites right now, but I might have went over a little pod there of, of fish, you know. So if I had a working electric motor, but right now I don't, got one on order and it's coming, um, I could have anchored. You know, when you catch a fish, there's obviously some fish in the area. 
great strategy anchor in that spot because where there's one there's more I'm just drifting so I could have drifted over those fish but of course I could put it in gear and just go back up and do another drift in fact I think that's what I'm gonna do all right so I just moved back up here for another drift get my line down there let's see if there's some more fish holding in this area like I say if I was anchored I'd love to just anchor uh, but I don't have that luxury today so Oh, that was a nice bite, folks. He just hammered it. Whoa, ho, 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 I better put the drag on. I have something nicer here, folks. Whatever it is, it's strong. Wow, what a bite. Oh my goodness. He just nailed it. It reminds me of when we were saltwater fishing for those porgy. They were just hammering these eye drops. Oh, look at this, folks. Look at this. You got another double. A silver bass again and a white perch. A big white perch again on the top bait. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know what? I'm going to keep that. It's a beautiful white perch. Hey, isn't that nice? Look at that. We're going to keep that fish. Okay, and the little silver bass. They look similar, but they're a little bit different. They have, they have the stripes on them. They look like a, like a striper, actually. Saltwater striper. Okay, we're going to get that little guy back in. There he goes. Oh, and that big perch took my took my bait. But you know what I'm going to do? I was using the silver. I brought some uh, chartreuse with me today as well. I, I brought all colors. Let me try the chartreuse. Double header, folks. Wow, I like that. And this is the extra large size of the chartreuse. So I've got the large silver on the bottom. And I've got an extra large chartreuse on the top. So, let's see what happens now if I can get into some more fish, but wow, maybe it felt so, so heavy and strong because the two were biting at the same time and uh, just really nailed it. Love it getting two at a time on these rigs too. In case you're wondering, the T-turn the bait rigs, they're all tied with fluorocarbon line. The freshwater rigs, the saltwater rigs, they're all fluorocarbon. Oh, I missed one. They're all floor. Oh, I missed another one. Oh, they could be smaller fish too when you pull and when you pull and miss. I didn't miss that time though, folks. <laughs> I tell you what, this is a riot. And you know, if you want to take kids fishing and they don't want to touch worms or anything like that, what a way to go! Eye drops. They're scented. They're an attractor, and the fish love them. And speaking of fish, let's see what we got, folks. Another nice white perch on the small silver, I should say large silver. So, oh, oh give me my give me my eye drop back. Right in his mouth. Come on. <laughs> I want my bait back. Give it back to me. <laughs> there it is. I got it. I got it. Alright, we're gonna keep this one too. <laughs> I got my I got my eye drop back. Alright, so. I'm just gonna poke that right through again. Eh, just like that, right? Just poke it through, leave the eye showing, right? And you got lots of uh, lots of hook gap for setting the hook. That's what you wanna do. I left my uh, cloths back home, cleaning the hands, that's okay. So I'm gonna drop it back down again. And I am running braided line too. You want the braid for that nice hook set. And then of course you want the fluorocarbon to be a little more uh, less visible to fish right so you definitely do not want to go with braid to your hook you always want that fluorocarbon or that monofilament uh, leader so it might be just a small zone where those fish are holding again if I was anchored I'd be having a blast just anchored you know in that zone where those fish are but and like I say the currents moving me so it's taking me it's taking me out but it's also moving my bait too, right? But I could just lift it up and down too, right? To trigger a hit, you could do that. Just slow movements, that's all you have to do. But uh, I think I'm gonna go back up for another, another drift. They're just short drifts, folks, but let's see here. If I can trigger, trigger another bite. If not, I go up for another drift. Okay, and the other thing I really like, folks, about these eye drops or any artificial bait for that matter is a lot of times 
uh, natural bay that is just not available. You know, live minnows, for example, or they're hard to, oh, hard to keep. Oh, whoa, 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 hard to keep alive. But the artificial bait, folks, it's so easy. You just bring a package, put it in your pocket, <laughs> and start fishing. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I tell you, I love it. Let's see what we got here, folks. Another nice bite. Ah, he just nailed it. Oh, we got another keeper. Look at this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's get that hook out. Hey, hey, it's another nice keeper. White perch right there. There we go. They have a little more bones in them than yellow perch do, but. They got a very, very mild, mild taste to them. Back in we go, folks. And, wow, these eye drops are just literally on fire out here, folks. They're on fire. Oh my goodness, oh, I got a fighter. <laughs> but what I wanted to say uh, is, yes, I'm fishing straight up and down right now, but if I was fishing, let's say, in, 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 and the reason for that is because I'm covering lots of ground with this current. But if I was in a lake, let's say, and, and I wasn't moving that much, you could cast these out. Or if you're fishing from shore, you could cast them out and then slowly work the eye drops back towards you. That's another nice chunk right there, folks. Right, you could cast them out. I'll show you what I mean here, get rid of those weeds. Right, you could cast it out and then all you do is slowly work it towards you if you've noticed you've seen me do that with uh with minnows and worms i like to do that cast the area and then just slowly kind of work it back but you can do the exact same thing with the eye drops and if you're a boatless angler uh you have the same options just cast it out and then just start to slowly work it back right just kind of work it back towards you and the fish will see it moving and then they'll just come and attack it so whether you cast it far out or you work it straight up and down either way you can't go wrong in fact I might have been oh I just missed them and the other thing is by using that method there we go by using that method if there are fish in the surrounding areas and you work your 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 bait back towards the boat you're actually attracting those fish towards you and getting into getting into more fish as opposed to just the fish down below so just another another way you can fish with these artificial baits and trigger hits okay but I'm telling you what folks I, this is this is so much fun so much fun all right and we got ourselves another keeper he took the silver this time nice solid fish these are really really nice chunky fish folks they are just nice solid chunky fish they're giving me great bites oh and he's also pooping in my boat <laughs> they're giving me great bites and a great fight so i can't really i can't really complain about that i'll tell you that much folks all right it's time to get my line back down there again but, you know just as as much as i'm catching these pan fish let's call them you could do the same technique for game fish for bass for walleye or as i mentioned earlier uh, saltwater fishing either way you really really cannot go wrong cannot go wrong so much fun <laughs> another another solid hit uh, doesn't feel too big but here's the thing folks I'm running the ounce and a half sting nose because we've got this strong current you saw here I'm catching perch for normally targeting perch or white perch or panfish crappies um, I would use, of course, the smaller sting nose sizes, quarter ounce, three eighths, half ounce. Oh, that's a good fish right there, folks. Nice white perch. Oh, look at that chunk. That's a chunk. Oh, that is just a chunk right there. Okay. Oh, okay, buddy. Let's get you right back down there again. But that was a lot of fun. He just, he just nailed it. He, they typically they'll hit on the way down. When you go to lift it up, they don't hit it. But as it's fluttering down, that's when it looks like an injured bait fish. That's when the fish typically hit. So, okay, this is, I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun. Even with that ounce and a half, these fish are not, you know, you've seen the size I'm getting. They're just not intimidated with the size of that lure. But again, 
I would typically be using smaller baits for these for these let's say smaller fish but uh, but hey oh there we go but it's working right here right now oh so why not just keep <laughs> keep it going oh my goodness folks the panfish bite the panfish bite is on and they're loving the sting nose and I'm loving it too and who knows that that I dropped there a little extra attractor you never ever know but See what we got? Oh, another nice chunk, folks. Wow. That's a beauty. You know what? I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, he took my he took my eye drop actually. But I'll keep that one. Put him in the box. I'll grab another eye drop and we'll get it right back down there again. So back in we go, then up for another drift. Lift it up. Oh, there we go. I was just try I just lifted my, my my sinker off the bottom a bit and he just nailed it <laughs> oh my goodness folks this is unbelievable what a great rig I love it now, unless it's another double it could be another double because it feels pretty good folks wow <laughs> it's great this is just great fishing and guess what <laughs> oh, oh, oh it is a double Except the bottom one was foul hooked a bit there. All right, let's get him back in. And there's another nice. Oh, that's a silver bass with the stripes. Beautiful. So the silver bass went after the large, the extra large chartreuse. Get those weeds off my T turn there. And drop it back down again. But yeah, that's that's a technique I use a lot in ice fishing too. I like to get the line down there and then what I do is just lift the rod up a little bit, let it go down, just lift it up and let it go down. And it's that subtle movement that triggers triggers a lot of hits. Oh, wham! What a solid hit that one was. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. oh I tell you what, you want to take some kids out fishing. This is the way to go. Wow. Did he just nail that bait? Nailed the eye drop, nailed it. Oh, and I just caught him on the top. So he must have been biting between that and the current on the little silver. I got some weeds on here, but wow. Or I had another one biting and I missed the one and I caught that one, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna get it back down there again and I'll show you the technique. Yeah, the technique, folks, is so, so simple. Just a simple lift. Sinker off the bottom, sinker touch the bottom. Lift it, sinker touch the bottom, that's it. And as you do that, that eye drop is kinda, oh, is kinda moving ever so slightly. <laughs> and what happens is you trigger bites. <laughs> so that's how, that's how effective that it is. Oh my goodness, folks, I'll tell you what. This is phenomenal. And if you got any crappy, crappy, or should I say crappy, crappy around, uh, they love these eye drops too. I love fishing for crappy too that way. Another nice white perch. And he took the extra large chartreuse. Okay, that's a decent size. So I'm gonna keep that one too, I think. Have a little white perch fry, I guess. Get the get the weeds off my line. I don't like to have any any debris on my line. There's a tiny little bit. Call it fussy. I want to keep my I want to keep my presentation folks as natural as possible. But you know what? I tell you what. Simple fishing. T-turn bait rig, a couple of eye drops. Go to town and have some fun. That's what I'm doing today folks. I'm just having a fantastic time out here today gorgeous day I'm gonna enjoy the day I'm gonna enjoy the fishing and wherever you're tuning in from folks I want to thank you ever so much for spending time with me on the boat today and until next time good luck and good fishing